What's up family? Today we have a new social security update to share with you. This will include details regarding President Biden's social security plan. Uh, yeah, guys, this is this is insane. I also have new information regarding the COLA increase for 2025, and you won't believe that information as well. But before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to the channel as well as hit the like button. It really helps out a lot, and it only takes you five seconds. Now let's go ahead and jump into the video. Starting off, we all know that Social Security and our seniors are going to run out of money. Now, I am talking about uh, the Social Security benefits that is expected to go away in the next 10 to 12 years or so. As you can see, it says that seniors are expecting to run out of money as Social Security drops the forecast. Check this out right here, guys, where it says that many seniors expect to run out of money in less than 10 years as economists predict that the Social Security will become insolvent by the year of 2033. According to a new survey, 40% of near retirees say that Social Security benefits will be their biggest source of of income in retirement. Despite this, more than one third say that their retirement income would not be enough to last them for more than 10 years. Now, again, seniors of those nearing uh, their golden years are starting to get a apprehensive about would they have enough money to make it through their retirement? Uh, well, guys, the biggest question is, how much do you have? And you need to do the numbers. You need to calculate the numbers to find out specifically how much you're going to have to live off of. And shockingly enough, uh, a lot of people just won't have enough at all. And they're saying right here that even though people can be within retirement for over 30 years, Americans are living much longer today while things are becoming more expensive, which means your money is unable to go as far as it used to. Uh, but anyways, just wanted to give you a quick reminder that those things have not changed yet. The prediction of uh, the Social Security Trust Fund running out of money by the year of 2033 is still on target. In fact, they are saying that that number might actually move up even more. So yes, it might necessarily not happen in 2033, but it might happen in 2032 or even 31. So guys, you need to do what you need to do. Uh, pay attention to this because you never know how this is all going to turn out, especially as these prices uh, continue. They just keep going up and up and up. When will they ever? Ever stop. I talked about it yesterday on the video in regards to these prices are probably never going to come back down again. So we need to uh, be mindful of that. We need to prepare ourselves and we need to get used to these new price increases. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that is our new norm. Uh, but anyways, moving on, let's go ahead and talk about Social Security in regards to uh, President Biden's updated payment plan. Uh, yes, that is the only type of update that he has provided provided for Social Security. I know a lot of you uh, were expecting him to change the way Social Security was calculated as well as to provide an increase while uh, Biden was in office. Well, guys, he is on the end of his term and it doesn't look like he is going to make that happen. He has pretty much let the American people down. I hope you guys will find some way in your hearts to forgive him. Uh, but anyways, he just continues to not give increases to our own Social Security recipients here in the state and instead providing other countries with more money. So uh, anyways, uh, let's just go ahead and talk about the one change or update that he has made in regards to Social Security. And like I said, this is referring to a payment plan. Uh, check this out right here, guys, where it says that uh, when President Biden took office, he signed an executive order 13985 advancing racial equity and support for underserved communities through the federal government. And according to the Center of American Progress, this legislation recognized the need for policies and processes that are centered around equity uh, with in government operations across the executive branch and federal agencies. But in 2022, the SSA or the Social Security Administration Office released its first equity action plan in accordance with Biden's executive order and announced an updated plan in February this month, guys. He just announced it on February the 15th. The Social Security Administration Office proposed a plan 
called the Payroll Information Exchange Plan, or better known as the PI Plan, for accessing and using information from payroll data providers to reduce improper payments, including overpayments and improve service to its customers. Now, again, Social Security is taking a critically important step to reduce improper payments, including overpayments, by ensuring that we receive timely and accurate wage data. Uh, these automated payroll information exchanges will address the inefficiencies associated with the self-reporting and the manual verification by introducing a more streamlined approach. Now, these exchanges will also prevent inequities caused by incorrect payments by allowing the agency to adjust SSI payments before they're issued and improve the efficiency of Social Security Disability Insurance, or also known as SSDI payments. So uh, anyways, just a bunch of fluff right here, but basically he wants to improve the system because there have been a lot of overpayments. You guys know that a lot of Social Security recipients have been receiving overpayments in regards to their monthly payments or monthly benefits uh, for more than 10 years. And now uh, the Social Security Administration office is asking those recipients to pay that money back. Uh, well, they have introduced this new plan that is going to uh, provide more accurate data so that this does not happen again. Now, what he could have done is introduce a plan to uh, fix the issue of asking our recipients to pay back that money. As we know that the trust fund will run out of money by 2033, we definitely don't want our recipients trying to pay back money uh, to the Social Security Administration office. So uh, anyway, Again, this particular only thing that Biden has done for the Social Security recipients or the plan is that uh, he wants to improve the data that is coming in uh, that lets them know how much uh, to pay out accurately in regards to those payments uh, to the recipients for SSI recipients as well as SSDI recipients. So uh, anyways, it is a little bit of good news, not necessarily much. It doesn't affect everyone, but uh, anyways... Just wanted to let you know that. And last but not least, guys, let's go ahead and talk about we finally have information regarding the COLA increase for 2025. Can you believe it? We are already in 2024 and uh, those increased payments just started last month. And some of you are happy about it and some of you have actually lost your benefits. But we'll talk about that in another video. Uh, but right here, guys, you can see that Social Security 2025's COLA increase is seen to be falling. Yes, guys, it is falling again, falling, 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 and leaving seniors even struggling uh, and paying more in taxes. We've talked about that before, where there are still 12 states out there that are still taxing our Social Security benefits for those residents. So uh, anyways, but this particular article is talking about the increase that we are expected to receive uh, for 2025. And I want to share that with you real quick. Uh, don't get excited, guys. Don't start jumping up and down because you might be a little disappointed. Check this out right here. It says that based on January's Consumer Price Index report, which came out on Tuesday, Social Security cost of living adjustment, or better known as the COLA in 2025, is forecasted to be an increase of just 1.75%. Uh, yes, guys, a whopping 1.75%. Now, this is according to the analysis by the Senior Citizens League, which is a nonpartisan, nonprofit seniors advocacy group. And they are pretty much on top of things. They were pretty much accurate uh, when they had previously announced uh, the 2024 COLA increase. So uh, anyways, this particular increase would be very much lower than last year's, which was 3.2% adjustment. And 2023's adjustment was around 8.7%, which was, by the way, the largest increase or jump in the past 40 years. And now uh, this would fall short of the Congressional Budget Office's forecast because they were expecting us to have around two and a half percent for 2025. But now that we have officially heard from the Senior Citizens League, which like I said, they are pretty much have been accurate in the past. And they are saying that so far with the data, uh, that increase is probably only going to be around 1.75%. Uh, 
Uh, so anyways, just a bunch of uh, horrible news, if you will. And we definitely are not excited about any of this. Hopefully things will change. We still have about 10 more months for the remaining of this year, uh, which I will say that considering the COLA increase comes out in October, we probably only really have about eight more months to determine how much the official data is going to show us in regards to our COLA increase for 2025. So uh, in the meantime, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel for, to get more information as we uh, find this out and we dig deeper into this uh, huge hole that the government has digged for the American people. And and until then, guys, I will love to see you guys on the next video. Well, anyways, that's all we have for you today. But feel free to check out some of the items down below in the description. There are a couple of opportunities for you to earn some free money. Also, don't forget about taking advantage of signing up for the Amazon Prime membership where you can get 30 days for free, which is a great time because you can order things from the comfort of your home and get them delivered to your front door for free. Also, don't forget that Amazon also has Amazon Fresh where you can order your groceries as well and get those delivered to you as well but anyways those are just a few be sure to check out all those links down below anyways if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more please go ahead subscribe to the channel it's totally free and if you like today's video then go ahead and hit the like button for us it really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others but anyways I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video peace